number. Oh, oh <laughs> hello. Not, uh, there's now the number. I see the number. Okay. Hello, hello, Gia. How are hello, you? Keisha. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm real good. Um, Actually, we've already we've already said hello to everybody. <laughs> we already <laughs> talked, and she was having a coughing fit, so we started over. <laughs> but she's okay yeah. now, I think. Yeah, I felt a little bit like little Donna after she'd had her her stomach. Little pumped. Donna, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was something. We've I've kind of got a lot to talk about. We do. Um, and actually, um, I was thinking that uh, there are a couple of things, sort of strategies we had for approaching hospital, which we sort of immediately abandoned. Immediately abandoned, yeah, because that's how we roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, because we can't remember <laughs> anything ever. Yeah. Um, but one was the rose and thorn concept oh right yeah we did abandon that but nobody else like uh, responded to that that challenge yeah. either so maybe it's unpopular maybe maybe most people have a lot of thorns i don't know but so there was that one and then also our your rating system like pants feeling sparkle pony vomit yeah and pikeman right, right. <laughs> that's just utter <laughs> confusion yeah <laughs> So I thought maybe yeah, we could okay. approach these three episodes like with that in mind. Um, okay. So, so if All I right. say sparkle pony moment, do, does anything come to mind? Well, apparently not. Cause I just blanked <laughs> out there. <laughs> <laughs> the screen okay. went blank. Well, I think because I've been in my head, I've been a negative Nelly for a couple days about yeah. hospital. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and well, I've been I've been coming up with kind of an analysis of what ah. what's been going wrong. Okay. Um, okay. Would I, you like well, to oh, I, I'm that? trying to do a sparkle pony. Can I do like a partial sparkle? You know. <laughs> sure. Sure. Um. Uh, the the sort of pathos um, and the just the dreadful feelings surrounding uh, Christina losing yeah. the baby have yeah. been pretty well done, I think. I think um, so, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Alexis is seeming truly distraught. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Christina is, you know... I I like I believe her pain completely. The dream sequence mm -hmm. today, the opening dream sequence was mm -hmm. almost unbearable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um I I'm having such negative feelings about TJ the character. I know. I know. That even it's when tough. he collapsed with the little socks, I was like Not I was trying to like it. Yeah, I was trying to remind myself that you know you need to allow that even though you're not liking this character, you need to allow him to, <laughs> to grieve, you know, yeah. and not be <laughs> yeah. critical of him. But he, I was, he's just, and this just sounds so petty of me to say, but he just seems so angry rather than exactly. sad. And of course he's allowed to be angry. So what's my yeah. problem? You know? Well, I know, I know. I think for me, I'm, I'm afraid sort of of what he's capable of. Yeah. And he's never been like violent or anything, but I'm just afraid that he's got all this rage that he knows is inappropriate, so he doesn't really want to express it. And you know, like if he saw Sunny or something, who knows? I just I'm not sure. Uh, well, and it feels like uneasy. the real the real pulling apart of that couple, yeah. um, which he you know he was of course trying to get her to stay and and right, uh, be with right. him, and, but he seemed yeah. so you know, small and angry when he was doing it, you know, <laughs> that I was like, yeah, I want out of there too, you know? Yeah. Um, I, it didn't seem like he was extending a lot of compassion. Towards yeah. Yeah. It just Molly. felt like, it just felt like demanding or something. Yeah. And, and rather like than compassion, what she needs to do kind of. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I don't yeah. know. I think we're just not playing it right with this character. Unless it's, that's the intention. Um, right. Yeah. But anyway, see, I moved away from a partial sparkle it, right into just complaining and whining about what I don't like. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead? What was your sparkle pony moment, if you had one? 
Well, before we leave, TJ, I was thinking part of the problem also with the grief that he and Molly are allegedly experiencing, and I and I believe that those people would be sad, but we didn't really see them ever putting together the nursery or any of that stuff, you know? And right. They, they sort of... Yeah. They distanced themselves from Christina for a while. So, you know, it didn't seem like they were even really experiencing the pregnancy, partly because they were, I guess, trying to, like, not, you know, be hostile (laughs) towards her, you know. Right. But they were being hostile about her, even even when they were not even not when it wasn't to her face, but they were being hostile. You're right. Yeah, we didn't see them being giddy about the nursery or the clothing or the toys or, you know, yeah. 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 Um, so I think that might've helped a little bit, but also I was thinking when Christina had her dream and then woke up and when she was talking to Alexis, it, it she is in sort of like in such a terrible position because she's sort of like, she's not a mother to anybody, you know, to anybody else. They don't think of her really as the mother of this baby. She's like, right, the surrogate, right. You know, like right. just sort of this like vessel for the baby. Right. But it really genuinely was her child. <laughs> right. It, it was, it was like... biologically her child. And I was thinking today that, that, you know, maybe that shouldn't be allowed in the surrogacy that the egg donor, is the like maybe the i mean i guess that just makes everything harder but yeah i don't like, know i wonder how often that's you know uh, the formula the scenario for the right yeah. you know but how it, it would be hard to give up a baby that you'd carried even if it was not biologically mm-hmm. you know if it yeah. wasn't your egg it would still be yeah. so hard i would think yeah and then if it's you you know truly yours as this baby was supposed to be mm-hmm. biologically hers mm-hmm. um yeah, I mean, right. So she's shattered and she's yeah. going to have to like keep saying, you know, your baby rather than. Yeah, and act yeah, like yeah. she's like m- grieving for Molly when. Really right, she's, right. You know. Yeah. That was kind of a moment, uh, a sparkly moment when Molly and um, Christina were, were crying yeah. together. And it was like, mm-hmm. you know, they were being supportive of each other in that moment anyway yeah and it seemed like molly our baby kind of you know yeah and molly did seem like she was worried about christina where tj you get the feeling he's not so much you know yeah yeah i know yeah they've really they've really done that character in but yeah uh, Hmm. anyway okay give us your sparkly pony moment Okay, um, I'm going to say my Sparkle Pony moment was when Sonny and Jason were at Sonny's place. And you could tell it was the old Sonny who had no animosity towards Jason, you know, who trusted Uh him. And it was like their old relationship. And and I got a little teary, I must say, when Sonny was sort of talking about, you know what he'd been feeling um you know yeah and there was more of that today like it was just kind of and they were being sort of delicate with each other and you know yeah yeah jason is just the most empathetic hitman ever (laughs) he really is i know like and on the one hand he's listening he's not you know he's not asking questions or anything just like waiting for sunny to say what he needs to say and then on the other hand you know He's taking orders again. <laughs> you know? Right. He was like, like nothing had changed. Speaking yeah. of, of empathetic hitmen, um, uh, cast your mind back to the Fargo series uh-huh. briefly. <laughs> okay. One of my favorite characters out of all five seasons was in this last season, there was that, the hitman, like the assassin that they brought yeah. in. Um, yeah. Who was like, what, five million years old or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I thought you would like the, the, the group or the group or something. I forget. Like I forget. Yeah. But that was, that was a uh, sort I just, of a I fascinating loved character, wasn't he? Yeah. It? He was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I yeah. thought that was a great. Yeah. A like great. when he's hanging out and they're making the biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <I> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god yeah and, uh, yeah the very end and she just like defangs him like he's a bumble that needed defanging yeah and, yeah. yeah and the great thing about that character the woman the who's like the main she character, was awesome too yeah she was yeah. so fucking awesome and yeah you haven't seen ted lasso but that was her previous um tv show oh, okay. that she was in and she played just like a sort of like a ditzy you know sort of superficial woman and so she it's like a complete 180 yeah. this character and oh. she's so good yeah she was great yeah. yeah that that was maybe my favorite season yeah that was so good yeah but anyway he, he was a good hit man too jason was a, good <laughs> a little bit different from jason <laughs> <laughs> still the strong uh, silent knife but yeah um, true they had a little bit of overlap there um but uh okay, well you that's know, a I, good sparkle pony moment yeah okay i the one moment where i had hoped i would feel more was when sunny was imagining morgan what did you think about that scene yeah i don't want to say it was a nothing burger but it, it was right. a you know, it was like a burger with without a bun or something. You know, it was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess a true nothing burger would have no burger. You know, right? It would just, it would be, just be bun. Right, right. <laughs> Which, if you're doing like the low carb thing, that's all you want. You're like, you want <laughs> just, just the bun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I. It was nice to see him, but it, I yeah. wasn't trained. I, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't, know. I don't know what they needed to do to transport me. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking like part of the issue maybe was that Sonny was on this ledge. <laughs> so it was like, so you it were nervous. Been, you were kind of nervous, a little bit distracted, you know, and it's all sort of fraught and everything Morgan's saying yeah. is trying to like get him off the ledge. So, you know, yeah, it's like watching the balance beam event in the Olympics. Yeah, Very hard. yeah. I, it may, that makes me so nervous. And I think somebody like buttered the whole damn thing the other night. Yeah, I think you're right. I know or that's falling that's off left and event. right. I yeah, like, I can't watch this event anymore. God, I know. And you know, I'm thinking my takeaway from this whole Olympics is that it's like it's gonna be like the year of the ass cheek. You know, because it feels you do like see a lot. You do see a lot. lot. I feel yeah. like every sport you got you got some ass cheek, and I don't remember that always being the case. Well, yeah, we were more modest in our earlier days, I think. I guess. But yeah, I I imagine for the Olympians, their bodies are just kind of like their tools, so they're probably don't care. You know, they probably yeah. see each other's ass cheeks all day long. They're not, you know, they're <laughs> <laughs> they don't recognize each other with clothing. <laughs> You know what I mean? They're probably, I imagine they're pretty just nonchalant about their bodies. Yeah, don't you think? yeah, I'm sure that's true. Yeah. But do you think anybody at home is watching like the women's uh, beach volleyball because they like volleyball? Oh, no, I'm sure there's all kinds of pervy people. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. know. Yeah. You don't like to think about that. But um I just want the Olympians to be comfortable in their gear. You yeah. Know, and you know, way. I feel like when your, your suit is right up your ass like that, it's not, that I'm not comfortable, comfortable like that. Yeah. yeah. But, maybe um, they, that's just how they roll. Maybe they've always got it, you know, jammed up their butt. So they feel weird. <laughs> <without them. laughs> I don't know. I don't know why the commentators don't get into this. <laughs> Mike Tarico. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, I know that reminds me, speaking of commentators, a sparkle pony moment. I don't know if it was from the stretch of time we're talking about, but uh, the little the little brick cameo where he's having his suit fitted. That was awesome. Yeah, I yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was genius because he's such a dandy, you know. He's such yeah, a. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He's yep, such that a was... preening little little rooster. Mm -hmm. and um, Yeah. Yeah, that was and funny. And also it was funny that like he, at first he's trying to like freeze Jason out and then almost immediately he's like. Yeah, he's like, yeah, good yeah, enough for me, stuff. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Sunny's off his rocker, so yeah. Of yeah. 
glad you're back on the team and yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and that was that was good but so that was yeah. a little a, a moment of levity for me but yeah, there were also yeah. like some days where it was like all this dark dark stuff happening and then we'd have a a sex scene with dex and joss you know and <laughs> uh, yeah you know, I, and I was having trouble with shifting gears for me um, too yeah i mean you want to enjoy the the kids having a nice time together yeah. but yeah it was it was a little the kids bit of having a... a nice time together <laughs> you're, you're like the sweetest den mother <laughs> <laughs> she had a line uh joss had a line where she said uh, um something like nothing but good happens here in this bed and i was like wow, that is quite a line like and i was thinking yeah. about our bed like can i say that like i don't know like i think there's been some farting <laughs> i can't say that about my bed <laughs> i think the cat probably thrown up on here a few yeah, times you know? yeah 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 that sort of stuff i don't know but it was a sweet little moment with yeah a couple yeah. for a couple of hotties but um yeah yeah but i was having trouble feeling it. i read a i posted it on the um facebook table at the tano page you probably haven't had a chance to look at it yet but uh mm -hmm. it was uh what's his name alan like alan soapbox do you ever read those mm. those articles i don't think so uh well they come up in the G gh stuff but anyway he uh -huh. had 10 10 ideas for to save general hospital oh dear alan, it's uh -huh. called alan soapbox i don't know what his last name is top 10 okay. ways to fix general hospital it's mm -hmm. good um but one of them was to have you know a lot more fucking going on <laughs> like he's like we haven't you know we just have, we haven't had he doesn't have to be just the young people and he's like you know we had this we had the wedding with brooke and Brooklyn and mm -hmm. Chase, which was nice, but they, you know, they're very like Disney couple. We never even see yeah. them, yeah. you know, un uh -huh. unclothed. And he's like, we just right. need more, you know, it used to be about love in the afternoon and we're, you know. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so read that article, please, so you can report back next time. <laughs> okay. My, yeah, you've got a little my, homework. Thank you. Thank you, Gia. Well, well no, I, I'm, just, I, I'm curious if you'll agree with his general ideas. Okay. Well, that one I, al I already am not I'm completely on board with, I don't think. I don't know. No. Okay. No. Maybe it's no, because we, are, we like the friendships. We like the friendships more we do. than. We do. We like, we'd yeah. rather sort of see him having coffee or something, you know? Maybe is that because we're such old ladies? We're such prude. Yeah. I prim and so. proper old ladies I, yeah and i think so and i hate to say it but i think that's why i get a little bit upset about all the ass cheeks in the olympics i really I yeah, yeah i don't know i mean I, I i don't know i'm i'm a little disappointed in myself <laughs> well that's good <laughs> I was thought you were gonna say you were disappointed in the Olympics, but no. But I mean, <laughs> I I would I would only be upset about it if the Olympians themselves didn't want to wear it. Yeah, you know, if they're comfortable right. with it and it's right, it's what they want to perform in, and they, and it works yeah. for them. Yeah, you know, because you're never gonna see any more glorious ass cheeks than the Olympian ass cheeks. You know. Well, that's true, but like just. Just think about how much sand those asses are absorbing on that that volleyball court. Oh, you're mainly talking about the volleyball, not like well, the I'm just thinking there. especially there, you especially. know. Especially. Okay. They must yeah. be taking in a lot of sand. Well, it can be very exfoliating. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch any of the what? What are they called? Artistic swimming is what they're calling it. I no, think these no. I'm I'm one of those yeah. people that needs to be convinced to take it seriously. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not gonna <laughs> convince you. Watch. I know it will that's not wrong. Convince you? No. I well, I saw a little snippets, and I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't do uh, it. Yeah. It's. <laughs> I mean, I feel like maybe there should be like a separate Olympics for like silly things you know a silly olympics <laughs> <laughs> maybe we could be in it for some category i think we could stupidest <laughs> commentary <laughs> and i know those people train as hard as probably oh i of, know but, i you know. know so we're, yeah. we're not being fair but I'll do tell you ever you those... come across the stuff where um people are 
you know, like the little horse heads on a stick and people are doing these like serious routines <laughs> with riding these little horse. I don't know what those are called. Hobby horses or something. Hob- yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you know what I'm no, talking about? I mean, oh, no. Apparently there's like a serious, you know, <laughs> sport. I'll have to say if I run across it. Really? It's, it's like, a serious it, thing? I think so. I think so. <laughs> See, that's the problem with the silly sports. You can't tell if they're really serious yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Anyway, well, I, I'm sorry you're having trouble with the, with the pornographic uh, Olympic <laughs> garb. Yeah. But Yeah, um, uh, well, I was going to say those um, artistic swimmers, their bathing suits were a teeny bit pornographic. I'm going to, you know. Really? Like, Maybe they're trying to pull in some viewers, and I'm sure it works. But you know, like not in the, the right. in the ass cheek department, or more in the camel toe kind of area, <laughs> or what? <laughs> camel toe is just so descriptive. You know, it's like parents <laughs> would be so proud of us. <laughs> not only are we doing a podcast dedicated to a soap opera, <laughs> and we, we, in which we never talk about the soap opera. <laughs> We got to cover the camel toe situation and the artistic swim. Well, aren't they mostly under the water? Like, what are you seeing? Well, there's plenty of times when you, their heads are down in the water and their horse, they're like, you know, it's all, it's all out in the air. <laughs> Loosen it. <laughs> oh, I'll have to. I'll have to check some out and uh, get back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we. Got I don't. Here. Maybe it's bringing in more viewership or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm um, sure they're kind of encouraged to wear the the type of suit. You know, just uh, who was it? <sighs> who was the uh, like the. It was it Esther Williams. Was that her name? The actress. Oh, the, yeah, I think so. Swimming. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if she would applaud this situation or be a little <laughs> bit disheartened. <laughs> <laughs> and does she know what a camel toe? What that is? <laughs> okay, I think we should before we get in more hot water, we should probably get back to General Hospital. Get in hot water. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was good. You, I didn't even mean to do that, but um okay, can I just okay. complain sort of uh, about some things that I felt like yeah. were yeah. misses in the past few days? Yeah, go ahead, Gia. Go for it. Okay. So, uh the baby the mm. we're we're if I understand it correctly, the baby is born alive, uh, and then and then expires. Uh, let's see. They said there was an emergency C-section, so maybe they maybe they thought the baby could be saved. I don't. Can know. you try somebody for manslaughter if? Hmm. Well, and this isn't even what I was complaining, but I just was wondering okay. if that's how you interpreted it. Um, yeah. Anyway, why are we not? Not that I wanted to see this scene because it was heart wrenching enough losing yeah, the movie. Right, right. Uh-huh. But why did we not have um, TJ and Molly talking about saying goodbye to the baby? Why did we not have a scene where they saw yeah. the baby? Right. Right. Not that yeah. we needed to see that, but we needed to have them come out of the room after they'd mm-hmm. said goodbye or, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's um, a good call, Gia. Yeah, that would have, that is something that I think probably would have happened. Generally. I think that does happen now. I mean, I am yeah. so, like, since I'm, I have not given birth to to um, anything, uh, <laughs> I probably have. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pause for a minute there. Like, <laughs> I think we're just talking about giving birth to babies. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I have not been blessed with any babies, so so I don't know how the whole thing works. But from my understanding, from the various people I've known, family members or whatever, who have lost mm-hmm. children sadly, or mm-hmm. you know, had ba- premature babies, where they they say goodbye to the babies, they hold the yeah. babies, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, and it makes me very sad to think about, but that's probably 
a, a better, you know, like thinking back way back, like my parents, mm-hmm. their first baby um, did not live. It was premature. Oh, I didn't know that. And I, Gosh. Yeah. And I didn't even, I don't even know, like I have no memory of how I was told that, or it was just sort of, mm-hmm. you know, you kind of learn your family history. And, yeah. Yeah. And so I knew about that baby, but Mm-hmm. I, you know, when later, I never even asked my mother about, it, I don't think, but later when I like kind of asked my father, like, when he was like, you know, that, no, they took it away. We didn't, you know, it was like, so they didn't have these like moments where they got to say yeah. goodbye and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like they, back then the approach was, you know, better to move on. Don't dwell mm-hmm. on this, that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think yeah. the opposite is probably true today where they, want people right. to have some closure and um yeah yeah you know so i you know i'm sure my parents didn't have a funeral didn't you know mm-hmm. there was none of none of that happened mm-hmm. back yeah. in, the, in those days yeah which was right. like well, it's like 1960 i think uh-huh. um, hmm. but anyway yeah. aren't you sure like well like when sasha and brando lost right mm-hmm yeah. right they they had the baby and the, you know mm-hmm. yeah because it seems uh, like like if you don't see the baby i i would be feeling a little bit like christina like you can't quite believe she's gone right and we know? don't even know they haven't made reference to whether she saw the baby or not has anybody seen the baby you know doesn't sound like she did i don't think um <laughs> so I mean, that I don't... seems weird to me yeah um, yeah uh uh-huh but you know like tj wants to give her a name and i'm sure they'll Mm -hmm. be and he looked like he was planning a a ceremony of some kind Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and that all seems realistic but i just thought that's weird like any anybody writing for the show wouldn't they kind of know their procedures that happen these days around these yeah Mm -hmm. so i thought that was like just kind of wrong Uh um and a missed opportunity to really definitely. rip our back. Yeah, definitely. And that would have maybe helped us feel more for Molly and TJ. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So that was a big miss. Another mm-hmm. massive miss, I thought, mm-hmm. which we touched on the other day. Like, hello, where's Blaze? I know. I was thinking today. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I kept waiting for her to come into the room because yeah, I it mean, Christina, like has... Christina needed her. Like yes, I mean, she's gone through this massive yeah event. This you know yeah, just had her, had her whole life explode here, mm-hmm. and Blaze mm-hmm. has gone off for chicken soup with the homophobe and. <laughs> <laughs> That would make an interesting little children's book, Chicken Soup Chicken with the soup Homophobe. With a homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Well, and also Blaze seems like she would she would be more like understanding of Christina's point of view and situation right. way more than anybody else because everyone else was coming at her from this. Right, like, right angle yeah. where they didn't quite trust her judgment or anything you know yeah and blaze has seen how she's you know taking care of this pregnancy and yeah and, yeah mm-hmm. yeah and I, and I was thinking well maybe they're gonna make this a bone of contention between christina and blaze and have it be like a reason they break up like i'm thinking that maybe they're gonna break huh. up molly and tj and christina and blaze over this whole thing wow huh. you know so maybe they were like showing that blaze was not being a supportive girlfriend on purpose hmm. Hmm. but i have a feeling it was more of an omission like they just yeah i wanted think. to have this stupid conversation with natalia and blaze yeah that um, was stupid wasn't it given that you know all of this is going on yeah hmm. yeah so that that really um pissed me off yeah um mm-hmm. And what else? And there were just other clunky stuff. Like today's episode, like there'd be a scene and then the next scene they'd be somewhere else and they wouldn't have like gotten them there somehow. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I just, I don't yeah. know. Things, things have felt clunky lately. 
Yeah, well, you know, there was, and this is going to probably get you all riled up again, too. Because <laughs> it got me a little riled up. Was but... I riled up already? Have I been riled? No, Should not I take really. Should I take my blood pressure again? <laughs> yeah, maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea, unless you pass <laughs> out. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to carry the show. Um, but when um, Trina and Portia were talking, and Portia was all like, in a lather about Heather and stuff. And, oh, and yeah. oh, Ava, yeah. she was talking about Ava, like she's completely, you know, anti Ava now and thinks Trina should steer clear. And, and she was sort of, I don't know, like lecturing her and everything. And then in like the next scene, which might've been. Oh like, yeah. And then they were hugging and squealing and, and she was yeah. laughing like, it's so great yeah. to see you. And it's like, what? <laughs> It's yeah, just, like what just you know, happened? You just had yeah. kind of a big argument. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's what I was. That kept yeah. happening today. I felt uh -huh. like I was like, wait, what? Wait a minute, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And also, yeah. like Trina's character, like it just seems like Trina's character just travels around Port Charles confronting people. <laughs> that you know? does seem to be all she does. Yeah, we don't see her doing anything really sort of constructive do we yeah or even just like remember how she was going to help out with um ace, ace? yeah like yeah. where where'd that go good job right. dropping the ball there like all your <laughs> all your devotion to Sp yeah. spencer's brother and yeah um, i i don't know she hasn't even spent that much time well i guess she was at the pool when the the big dive happened yeah yeah oh yeah did you enjoy that video i sent of the stunt being yeah enacted? thank you thank yeah. you yeah and and yeah geo weird. did have quite the little scream like he, he sort of, <laughs> yeah he had like a real girlish expression on yeah. his face it was funny <laughs> uh, but yeah even when i when i sympathize with whatever trina's confronting somebody about even when i'm yeah. like on mm -hmm. paper with her I'm like mm -hmm. finding her unappealing in this in this confrontational role where that's all she does is just yeah you know, today today I'm confronting the mayor tomorrow yeah. <laughs> I'm confronting I Heather know. and then She's going you know down her list of people and it's yeah. like Joss has had phases where she's been sort of like that but yeah yeah and I don't, I don't know, know why I mean, they can't like be like sort of maybe have moments like that but not that that's all they do all they're you know? doing yeah yeah um i don't know so and what else did i um oh i i didn't like the scotty heather yeah thing today where scotty was convincing heather that mm -hmm. she had a case about mm -hmm. the cobalt poisoning and heather seemed to be acting like this was the first she'd heard of this, even though she'd get, gone over it with Laura and, yeah, you yeah. know, like swore mm -hmm. up and down. She didn't want Laura to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. didn't show her changing her mind. They didn't show right. that emotion. Yeah. They yeah. Just, made, she just made it seem like she was like, oh, huh. Yeah. I guess you got a point <laughs> there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because, uh, that would be important to see what changed her mind. Yeah, what motivated her suddenly to feel like, oh, oh it's okay if you let me out now. I think I can control myself. Mm -hmm, and right. When before you saw this real, like, I'm scared. What if I go back to mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. murderous former self? Yeah. Um, so I normally get a sparkle pony out of Heather yeah. and or Scott, and I didn't yeah. feel it today. I was kind of... Yeah, and also him asking Alexis, knowing that she's in this. Yeah, office, yeah, that was that, weird. That didn't yeah. seem very Scotty either. I mean, I know he's he can be a bit of a buffoon, but he's not completely heartless. Right, right. Yeah, that was that. I don't know. Just things have been feeling a little off. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I have more to complain about, but those were the biggies. Those were the biggies. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about uh? um what's his name your boy jagger oh um yeah he was kind of unappealing also today because it's like <laughs> he he's was. throwing down with ava did i say that yeah, right he's, he, yeah. <laughs> he thinks so yeah it's like he thinks this is like making him a stud kind of yeah you and know? the whole like this plot point revolving around his suitcases is seems really lame yeah um yeah. suitcases versus shoes 
Um, <laughs> All right, right. And why yeah. hasn't anybody pointed out, and I know we've kind of talked about how you have to suspend disbelief, but mm-hmm. why isn't anybody talking about Carly's responsibility here hmm. with the window? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> spell that out for you. <laughs> a little bit, thanks. Give the hamster a little nudge. <laughs> <laughs> he was just looking for dessert. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, who Ava? Ava mentioned something about the window. Yeah, up the yeah. Code, right. Nobody like listened to her, and yeah, right. it's clearly, it's not even up to code. I don't think for like an actual house. <laughs> You know, right, let alone a, a, a hotel with, you know, lots of floors. And Oh, I yeah. have one more thing to complain about. I thought okay. I was done. I thought I was done. I was not. <laughs> I think we all knew you weren't done. <laughs> okay. It's just such clunky writing. Yeah. The, the whole thing with cute little Donna having to take Daddy's vitamins so that we could have uh-huh. those tested. Uh-huh. None of that rang true. No. How, who took the lithium? Who took the pills? Avery brought right. the pills over. Uh, I I don't know. Just I wasn't yeah. buying any of it. Also, I couldn't I understand Donna's lines. She's cute as a button, but I was like, "What? What'd you say, <laughs> little girl? What?" <laughs> and I thought these are pretty important moments, you know, to trust this <laughs> this little child actor and. <laughs> <laughs> they should probably uh, fire her. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> You're done, kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought that was that was ridiculous. I I didn't. I wanted to suspend my disbelief, you know, like always. <laughs> but I I can't imagine Sunny. Well, I guess they were just in a drawer, but I feel like he never would have let that happen. That his pills right. would I mean, be taken, yeah. and, and and I mean, let alone we don't know the time frame of how long they were gone. But it seems like he would have missed right. them. Right? Wouldn't he? Yeah, he would have missed them. Yeah. So that's um, weird. And um, I just you didn't need to have that. Right. You didn't need to have that happen to have Kevin say. Why yeah. would you have no drugs in your system? We probably ought to take a look at your pill. You yeah. know, like what? Yeah, exactly. So it seemed like an un- whole unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Right. Because Kevin stopped by to see how Sonny was doing. And I kept thinking at that point when he said there was nothing in your system that Sonny would go get his pills, you know, because Kevin's like, are you sure you're taking them? You know? Yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah, he would have been like gone back then, like he right here, see or yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would have made a lot more sense, <laughs> you know, than that yeah. Would... And they could have done what I said earlier about they could have counted out the number of pills and counted back mm-hmm. the days and so yeah. seen how you know how many yeah. were gone, right? And that would have right. been a fun scene to see them like counting <laughs> pills together. <laughs> that would have been cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, so I just, yeah. I don't know what's going on with the writing. I mean, there's a lot of, I don't want to say good stuff, like, you know, babies dying is not good stuff, obviously, no. but there's a lot of high drama happening and yeah. wonderful opportunities for yeah. um, mm-hmm. the range of human emotions. And yeah. uh, I'm being distracted by yeah weird weird anomalies or something i don't know yeah they're sort of bungling it and and that was like we've been waiting for how long for this med thing to sort of yeah right right come to to fruition yeah yeah so they should it seems like they would have been thinking about how that was going to happen for a while now you know yeah yeah um Uh, yeah you know what word i like and and you used the word animosity earlier yeah. I like the word animus. Is it out the root of that? Like animosity must be animus. It must be, I guess. Yeah. You know who uses that word a lot is that Montana writer James Lee Burke that I oh, used to read. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like him, don't we? Yeah, and he makes he manages to make it sound filthy every time. <laughs> animus. You know. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just pulling it up here. Hostility or ill feeling. The yeah. author's animus towards her. Toward her. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we should try and work that in more to everyday Oh, conversation. I was supposed to work Get it off spicy, the page. wasn't I? Yeah. What was the word? I forgot. Spicy, right? Oh, spicy. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I could feel you lighting up. <laughs> That's a fun word. Boy, those artistic swimmers sure are spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that works. Does it? <laughs> that works, yeah. They bring the spice to the pool. Yeah. There's some spice in those hindquarters. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've crossed a line there, Gia. Let's be respectful. <laughs> I can't believe we're not talking about the the poor pole jumper. You know, that's still that still package. circulating. Yeah, yeah. I went and looked, googled that. Of course, after you told me about it, and it did sound funny. like it was some like was it a porn company or something? Yeah, yeah. Like they, the jump. Yeah, <laughs> like he can let it. It was something about let it out of its confines and you know let the world <laughs> really see what he's got let it out of its confines. <laughs> I don't know if that was the actual wording, but something like that. You know, like, like... <laughs> oh, I don't think they have male artistic swimmers, but maybe that might be a better avenue for him. And then you probably would not be complaining if that were the case. I think you're... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a little bit I of a would, double standard in what uh, you're. Yeah, I guess you're probably right. I would, I would be a bit fascinated. <laughs> <laughs> that would, that would be a silly sport. <laughs> that would be That's like the headlining of you. That's very uh, sexist of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> uh, um, what one other moment I noticed today um, when TJ was was grieving with his whole family there. You know they yeah. they dug up Aunt Stella and they everybody yeah. at Marshall. Nobody's mentioned what happened to Marshall, but oh, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah. See, that's another like. It could easily be taken care of. Um, <laughs> anyway, so Aunt Stella had been hugging him, and they kind of yeah. like let go of each other and were facing each other. And TJ had his hands like on her hips, I like as if they were too. doing an eighth grade <laughs> slow dance to you yeah. know dust in the yeah. wind. I know. <laughs> And I thought yeah. he probably knows they're there, but it would be awkward to take them off now. And, you know, yeah, he doesn't know where to put them. So, yeah, yeah. That was you awkward. noticed that, too. Yeah, I did. I was Funny. thinking I was thinking, I wonder if he's thinking about how thin she is. <laughs> <laughs> or if he's getting a pants feeling. We don't know. <laughs> A Chico's kind of pants feeling. <laughs> oh, Stella, poor Stella. Uh, that was, I was glad they brought Stella back in, at least. And uh, Yeah, she well, she's good in situations like that. And I thought, you know, at least she was trying to help him acknowledge his anger and stuff. And that, yeah, know, yeah. Helping. Yeah, him. I, I'm going to I'm going to work on not being judgy of TJ, you know, because it's like. Okay. Uh, you think we're kicking he's allowed, you know, down. he's allowed to feel however he feels, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just, I, I, I see doom for that marriage, that not marriage. Yeah. Marriage. Yeah. 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 I was thinking, mm -hmm. um, what if Molly like went to a bar and started drinking, you know? Okay. And then what? Like, and, it Maybe. just oh turned like turned into an alcoholic kind of thing like like be that became the problem or yeah or yeah i mean maybe it wouldn't be like a full blown problem but it, it you know it could it could seem like a potential problem maybe yeah i fear that they might do that with alexis cuz they've got her seen yeah. very overwrought but um yeah and now that that Sonny's basically sort of told her that that was something I was a little uncomfortable with that they're Those letting two it wanting to kill Ava. Yeah. Oh, there was something that I was 
that I meant to bring up. I can't, I filed it away, but now it's gone. Um, but, oh, oh, Jason lied to Carly, I think. This was what? On, on Tuesday. Um, she was racking her brains, she said, trying to figure out who had done her this favor, right? Who had helped her. Yeah, lose the audio yeah. file, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, she's like, I can't, I can't think of who it was. And he said something like, maybe like something like you'll figure it out or something like that. I can't remember, but he never said it. What about Brennan? You know, cause didn't Anna pretty much tell Jason that that's who she thought it was. Oh yeah. Well, so he didn't outright lie. He just no, didn't but reveal that's... information. Right, that's kind of uncharacteristic of him, I thought. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I mean, yeah, he doesn't usually, like, give extra information. But right. withholding that seemed like a choice. And and he, okay. like, Anna told him that Brennan seemed to have actual feelings for Carly. So it, I, it seemed like maybe he was trying not to let that happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. But uh, that took me way off topic. What were we on there? Were uh, we I don't know. At least we're talking oh. about general hospital characters yeah. and not. <laughs> That's true. People who um, butt on the Olympics. Uh, right? <laughs> we're just we're just providing hmm. you know some commentary that's sorely lacking from the actual right. Olympic right. broadcast. You know, right. not even on the Peacock channels are they talking about any of this stuff. So is that a spicy network? Well, <laughs> not really. Although I guess they have some spicy shows, uh, more spicy than general NBC shows. Um, we were talking about, oh, Ava. I, I, I didn't really like how Sunny, everybody's jumped to the conclusion that those pictures show Ava pushing. Oh, right. Pushing. Christine. Yeah. And, and yeah, I don't know. I wish we could, well, we could go back on Hulu and watch that scene again, but cause I'm like, I don't, she didn't push her. She did. No. She did touch her, right. but I don't think it was a shove. No, it seemed like Christina sort of backed away from her, and that's when yeah. she tripped over the bag. Yeah, the duffel, which <laughs> <laughs> you made duffel sound dirty. How do you do that? <laughs> Well, I once again I felt like that was a prop that didn't work for me. Like, yeah, this fancy suit guy, you know, right. and he's got stuff in a duffel, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Right. I don't see. Uh huh. I mean, do do like real grown ups carry stuff around in duffel bags anymore? It only if he's like, like I do. Like I would fly or with something. A, I would yeah. fly with a plastic Hannaford bag, you know. <laughs> I know, I, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> That's really mean, you know. <laughs> but it seems to me like most grown-ups have, yeah. you know, garment bags and hard and fancy, you know, wheelie bags. And yeah, they're not yeah. Slinging a duffel over their shoulder anymore. But. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't yeah, know. that's true. And and she would have taken a more spectacular fall if it had been like a proper piece of luggage. A proper piece of luggage, yes. <laughs> uh, Can you say but, that with a British accent? <laughs> I would, but when I use my British accent, I get loud. So uh, I don't want to do that. You know who's very dirty with a British accent? Um <laughs> Oh, I was going to say Juliana Margulies, and that's an it. But it's Mir Miriam Miriam Margolis or something like that. Who's that? Oh, she's a British actor, and she was in some of the Harry Potter movies. Oh, did you watch the Harry and, Potter uh, movies? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just know that she was in them. Okay. But no, I see her all the time on that. What is it, Graham? The Graham Norton show? Graham oh, Norton. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. God, she's hysterical and she's filthy. Oh yeah, my God, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't remember her name. Yeah, but she. You yeah. know who I'm talking about? I do. Yeah, and I like. I like that show. I, I catch it 
once in a while, like um, on Facebook, like clips on Facebook. Oh yeah, they have some hysterical moments on that yeah. show. But, um, yeah. But anyway, she tells stories that like would put us, you know, we'd be blushing. <laughs> like our little camel toe moment was nothing compared nothing. to some of the stuff it's she talks about. Child's yeah. play. Yeah. Child's play. Yes. Um. Anyway, I don't know what we were talking about. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my brain's like a little butterfly just <laughs> wafting about <laughs> um let's see well ava the footage oh yeah um, yeah yeah suitcase. right yeah yeah okay yeah yeah so, so yeah. i mean are you kind of feeling are you with me on this sort of general dissatisfaction with the execution of the plot lines lately yeah, I yeah, I I do feel like there's been lots of places and I guess I'm going to say like especially with Morgan if you're if you're Oh, okay. Yeah. You know where but you I would have an put opportunity finger on what what they could have done. I don't know, did they just need to heighten the dialogue somehow? The dialogue or... wasn't really special. Um yeah. and it was it was sort of clipped it seemed like it was sort of like a a ball going back and forth and not as much like a conversation yeah. you know it ping pong um, it ping ponged gia it ping ponged okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean maybe if there'd been like um some special words like animus <laughs> <laughs> I bear you no animus, father. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I think we've reached a new a new low <laughs> tonight, <laughs> which is difficult. <laughs> we are down there. Um, I think maybe part of the problem was it seemed like it almost could have been anyone. You know, it wasn't right. Like right? A lot yeah, of those there was things like a a generic quality yeah yeah i mean anybody could have said some of those things to sonny it wasn't like distinctly morgan you know right you're right you nailed it <laughs> thank you gia <laughs> damn it too bad we lost everyone <laughs> the first mention of camel well, toe <laughs> people don't usually stick around not from, the last everyone yeah. <laughs> Well, we had to we had to like turn that over in our heads for a while to figure out because you know yeah. Morgan was a powerful character and their relationship, especially with them sharing the bipolar, um, yeah, disease yeah. and and mm -hmm. um, knowing the highs and lows and everything. Yeah, it it should have been much more special, and it just kind of wasn't. Um, yeah, and I think also because we knew this was it right like this probably one scene with morgan is going to be right it. right yeah they were yeah. that was just a big long they teased us for a long time about his yeah. return and then of course yeah. it's just a hallucination i saw people arguing online about like it wasn't a ghost it was a hallucination it was like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> We don't seem so stupid now, do we? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, we do. We do. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, oh. I think we've, we've hashed it all out. So yeah. I know you have a lot to do, but I, I would be curious on your thoughts the on list. that. On okay. The list of 10 things. Okay. Because um, there were a few things that I that I disagreed with. So yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if yeah. we'll fall on the same. Okay. Along the same lines there. But okay. You know, and I, I thought I saw a headline somewhere about there being like a, a change in writers again, but I, maybe I wasn't. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't, maybe that's not true. So I, I need to confirm yeah, that. I, I don't need to anything. call out to the deities. <laughs> <laughs> You're fancy tonight. I know. I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to take everything I say and like punch it up to another <laughs> level of vocabulary. Elevate okay. it. Elevate it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Gia. Working oh, have it. you seen that oh. commercial for the, <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple medical shows coming on this fall. Have you seen the commercials for that comedy, St. Dennis? 
No, I don't think so. Who's in oh, it? Somebody really like it. Looks, it looks like just like what I've been dreaming of. On a reg um, on one of the regular networks, or, or yeah, it's on NBC because they've been running oh, commercials okay. during the Olympics a little bit, and it's it's produced, I think, by the Superstore producers. Oh, okay. And it's got at least one of the characters from Superstore and some other right. some other you know good people. So it looks it looks very funny and and silly. We need funny and silly. We need more yeah. funny and silly. Oh, we really do. And I think there's room yeah. for comedy in, in a medical show, like Scrubs, you know. Although, and I heard I, I think people, like, you know, like, I don't think you watched The, the Bear. Did you watch The Bear? Or you tried just, to? Just the first episode, yeah. And I probably would like it if I stuck with it. Well, it was in a comedy category. And I was like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. Comedy is like the worst comedy I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> nothing funny it was like pure angst and you know yeah. drama uh -huh. drama drama like yeah i don't really understand how they do these categories but i don't know yeah. either gia yeah maybe they ran out of room in another category I'm yeah sure. maybe i don't know how it works well um okay, i can't believe we managed to work the concept of camel toe into tonight's podcast but you and know I there you have it to say it one more time <laughs> <laughs> it's such an evocative expression you know it's really yeah. terrible I, camels I, are probably sorry. like will you stop <laughs> we're a noble creature we're a noble creature <laughs> 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 okay well we'll stop we'll go away now we will yeah we won't talk about <laughs> go it away. <laughs> we'll, just go away. we'll think about what we've done <laughs> we'll sit in the corner yeah yeah <laughs> we're sorry we're very sorry <laughs> always. <laughs> always time for another blanket apology rest assured we are sorry <laughs> Okay, well, we'll we'll do this again in a few days. <laughs> Maybe not this, <laughs> no, but <laughs> something like this adjacent. Uh, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, have a good night. Thanks, you everybody. Too. Goodbye. Okay, bye.